What I like to do when I make my grilled cheese is I start with rustic bread. That's the most important piece. I love sourdough, I love the white bread, and you can do this with just a basic white bread, but I like to buy a nice loaf of bread and I'll cut a hunk right off that bread and I'll cut, you know, two thick slices of bread. Now the key when you're making gr your grilled cheese is temperature. You don't wanna cook over high heat. The second piece to making the perfect grilled cheese is to make sure that you actually toast the bread on both sides. Then you use the inside of the bread, which is toasted, because you've kind of doubled that beautiful flavor that you get from toasting the bread in butter, and you build your grilled cheese on there. I cook with ghee to start, and then I finish with whole butter. I also cook with a little bit of mayonnaise in my grilled cheese. So we're gonna make one right here. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm starting with a carbon steel pan. This is my favorite type of pan. It's been seasoned, it's virtually nonstick. And here we go. I'm just gonna kind of bring this up to medium heat, and I'm gonna throw in my pan just a little bit of ghee, which is clarified butter, uh, cooked at a really low temperature, not necessarily above 100 degrees, so it retains a ton of its nutritional value. So I throw this ghee into the pan here. Do not bring this up to a smoke, right? That's the key. You always want to avoid having any of this come up to a smoking point. I am going to lay my bread down right into the pan, let it kind of get toasty in this butter right here. Now, while my bread is toasting in the pan, I'm going to take a little bit of mayonnaise and I'm actually gonna rub that all over the inside of the bread. Now, keep in mind, the inside right now is ultimately going to become the outside of the grilled cheese because we all know that the most beautiful part of the grilled cheese is that toasted buttery exterior. And since we love that, and we've got a whole in another side of the bread, why not toast that side of the bread too and amplify the flavor? So I'm just gonna do a spread of mayo on here. Now, if you wanna amp this up, you can actually use mayo with maybe a dash of lemon juice in there so that you can add some more flavor or just put some lemon zest inside your mayonnaise. All right, so I got that beautiful toast on the exterior, which is going to be the interior. And that's that caramelization that you want. I'm just gonna take it for another second. This bread is really soft. If you wanna use day old bread, go ahead, do it, because you're reconstituting the bread as you're cooking it. Um, and you can obviously do this with just sliced sourdough, sliced Wonder Bread, whatever you want. So now we're gonna flip this. Okay, I got the mayo on the outside, and then I've got that beautiful toast right there on the inside of the bread. And from here, we are going to add our cheese. Now, I like to use two different types of cheese. I like to use American cheese, and then I also like to use a little bit of uh, shredded mozzarella. It's got that beautiful meltiness to it, but you know, cheese is obviously where you get to improvise over this. This is your own comp composition, and the style or the framework that I'm laying out here is nothing more than a standard or a jazz standard upon which you can kind of riff. So I like to add a little bit of the shredded mozzarella and then I've got some basic American cheese slices here that I'm also gonna slow, throw on there. So two different types of cheese. Make sure you got that nice, that uh, you know, kind of beautiful meltiness to your cheese choice. And uh, that's the way to go. So here we go, I'm laying the cheese on there. Once again, this is the part of the recipe where you really wanna think about low heat because we've only got a limited amount of time where we can cook this before the outside gets too toasted. So we're gonna let this go at a nice slow temperature right now. I'm just gonna throw another pan over this. I'm gonna let the steam come out. I'm gonna let it kind of melt that cheese on top as the bottom of the bread is getting nice and toasty. It's about five minutes, but look, a really good grilled cheese is gonna take 10 to 15 minutes because you wanna take the time to slowly toast the bread, allow that cheese to melt. The last thing you want is a burnt exterior and a cold interior. Okay, my cheese has started to melt, so now I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna top this. I'm just gonna take this bottom piece here. Oh yeah, look at that, just stuck together there. I'm gonna flip it over, oh. Yep, that's what we're talking about. And I'm going to just continue toasting this grilled cheese. I've got a nice, beautiful toast on the exterior. I like that. I like that, that point at which it toasts right before the milk solids brown too much. And just let that, oh, and, and, and then all these pieces of cheese that stick to the pan, that's flavor country right there. So I'm gonna leave that in there. Press it down. With this, with this rustic bread, I mean, you're gonna press this grilled cheese. This thing is gonna get super toasty. 
Okay, now look at that. That's just this beautiful, rustic, melted, toasty grill cheese. I'm gonna pull this off now. We're gonna let it sit for a minute because that cheese is gonna continue melting, and then we're gonna slice and enjoy.